this is also same code the difference is between the delays this is the third type here an event triggered an event is triggered at the same time as waiting for the event trigger means uh, in two cases in previous two cases what we have seen one one e first case is event is waiting event is triggered after waiting for the event and second type before waiting the event is triggered but here both triggering an event and waiting for an event happens at the same time here we can see the this race condition race condition means i will tell you what race condition is okay same example we have a two processes in first processes you can see uh, in all in two processes we can see that there is no delay have you find uh, any uh, have you found any uh, delays here no right no delays this is that means both is happening at the same time there is no delay all processes are uh, running at the zero simulation time only this is leads this leads to the uh, race condition you can see first process a will be executed because first we have uh, we written as process a right so first process a will be executed it goes to the process a here we have a statement before triggering event e1 this will be executed and at the same time event e1 is triggered so this statement will be executed now you can see that event is triggered before waiting for the event now it goes to the all two processes will be executed now it goes to the process b here uh, same at zero simulation time only this process will be executed waiting for the event e1 after that it has a waiting event that means it is waiting for the event to be triggered it is waiting but already event is triggered here right this is this happened first it should not happen first if it happens first that means it will not unblock the processes so here it is waiting for the event but event is already got uh, triggered so it will not unblock this processes this is the race condition we can call race condition race condition happens when both happens at the same time means uh, waiting for the event and triggering an event will be happened at the same time then we can call it as a race condition i will run the code to see the output how many statements you can see three right in previous type also we got the three statements only there also what happens the waiting uh, triggering an event happens first and waiting for an event happens second so that's why we got the three statements here at zero simulation time the process a statements will be executed this uh, this statement and this statement executed at the zero simulation time you can see and after that it goes to the process b and here 0th nanosecond this will be executed waiting for the event e1 but this statement will not be executed why because we have a at operator at operator always block the processes until the event is triggered there it is already triggered but it was waiting right first it should come to the wait operator then only it goes to the triggering event if it is not like this it will not unblock the processes that's why we don't get the display statement as event even is triggered statement will not be executed this is about at operator this wait construct is also same as at operator but the difference is i'll show you the difference is it will not block the processes even though the event is triggered okay you will get the same output for wait construct till type 2 means for type a and type b you will get the same output as at operator but for third type c you won't get the output as um, output as at operator i will just run the code because both are same this wait constructor is there na both are same at operator and wait constructor for two uh, type type a and type b you see okay here i have not added this i'll show you here only 
this is for difference between the at operator and constructor operator sorry wait construct i will show you in this code only at operator how it works okay both are same here instead of at operator i will use wait construct here only you can see i will uncomment this okay this is the syntax for writing the wait constructor wait of e1 dot triggered this has to this you has to uh, you need to write i will run the code you will get the four statements same as at operator right we got the same four statements it works as same as at operator so that i i don't uh, repeat twice till type 2 i will show you because both acts as a same only this is type 2 instead of this at operator i will use wait construct okay this will i will comment this one and now i will run the code here also we got the three uh, three statements same as at operator i will tell you when this at uh, at and wait construct will be uh, will go will give the different outputs okay here see we got the same output as at operator only but in type 3 type c we will see the difference between at operator and wait construct i will tell you wait yes now when the event is triggered at the same time as waiting for the event to be triggered it happens here we can see the difference between at operator and constructor wait constructor at operator and wait constructor is different only in type c in third case means when event triggering and waiting for an event is happens same time that time we can see the difference between at operator and and this wait constructor because the difference is wait constructor is non blocking it will not unblock the uh, it will not block the processes even though the event is triggered but in at operator how it was it block the processes until the event is triggered right here even though the event is triggered or not it will not go into block the processes you will see in once i run the code here i will comment that one and i will uncomment this wait construct you will get the four statement right in at operator we got three statements but here we got four statements because it is not blocking the processes here you can see we have used a wait construct and it is not going to block this process even though the event is triggered here you see zero simulation time first these two will happen first after that it goes to the process b and this uh, this will execute this statement and here we are waiting waiting for the event since we are use the wait construct it will not go into block this process But because in at operator what it has happened the event was triggered before that's why it is not unblock this process but here even though same is happening right it uh, triggers the event first but it is not blocking it is unblocking this processes this is the difference between at operator and wait constructor i will show you another code in that both at operator and wait constructors are used there you will get better idea yes this is the example this is the one code i have used both the uh, wait uh, wait construct and at operator here you will understand thoroughly see 
we have a three processes process a process b process c in first uh, process i have used event triggering an event second process is waiting for an event to be triggered by using the add operator third process is waiting for an event to be triggered by using the wait constructor in second process we have used add operator and in third process we have used wait construct we will see which uh, statement will be executed and which statement will not be executed i will tell you which statement will be not executed this second process process b statement this 97th line will be not executed but here it all the process will be executed in process c because we have used a wait constructor wait constructor will not block the processes even though the event is triggered but here what it happens both uh, this all three processes are executing at the same time right this is the type c form means ex uh, triggering an event and waiting for an event is happening at the same time here we don't have any delay we don't have any delay so this is the type c form both triggering an event and waiting for an event is happening at the same time here first it will display this statement zero simulation time then it display the this 91st line process a okay then it goes to the process b here it is it displays the this statement and now we are waiting for an event but already event is triggered but still we are waiting right so it will not go into unblock this statement means unblocking the processes that's why we don't get this display statement but after that it goes to the uh, process c here it will zero uh, simulation time only it will display this statement after after that it goes to the this state this display statement because we have used a wait constructor even though the event is triggered here it is not going to block the processes because it is a wait constructor wait constructor is like non blocking even though the event is triggered it will not going to block the processes so we will get this statement in the output you can see we will get 1 2 3 4 5 5 statements not 6 statements c process a process a process a at zero simulation all are zero simulation time only because both happening at the same time before triggering event even and after triggering event even process a is executed completely process c also executed completely c both two statements of the process c executed but c the process b output only we got the one statement right which is waiting for the event even using at operator it is not going to unblock this this statement event even is triggered using at this statement will be not executed because it blocks that process it is waiting for the event trigger even though the wait even even though the event is triggered it is waiting because always waiting for an event should be happen first then the triggering an event should happen otherwise it is not going to unblock the process this is what the difference between at operator and wait constructor here i will tell the one example which is using the non blocking event i told that this symbol that uh, implication operator is used for the event trigger this also used for the event trigger but the difference between both uh, is it will not block this is non blocking even though the event is triggered before or after it will not going to block the process i'll show you okay yes this is the last code i'm going to explain here i have used the this operator if you use this operator like if you use this operator you can use at operator or wait constructor you can use anything it is not going to affect the this statements means it will not going to block any processes if you use the this if you use it this operator okay in if you use that implication operator uh, if you use the at operator it will block the processes and if you use the wait construct it will not going to block the process but here if you use this only if you use this this operator even though you use at or wait constructor it is not going to block any processes i will execute the code then you will understand here i have used this operator okay non blocking event this is used to trigger the non blocking events here you see output we got four statements i told you right 
it is not going to block any operator here i have used a at operator you can see i have used at right at operator is not going to block this process here we don't have any delays both process is uh, parallelly executing even though this is not blocking this event because we have used the this symbol means this operator we have used to trigger an event so uh, the conclusion is if you use this uh, operator for triggering an event it will not go into block the any processes because this is a non blocking event non blocking event operator you can see right i will un uh, uncomment this and okay i will comment this one and i will uncomment this wait constructor so you will get the same output four statements will be executed right four statements now i will uncomment this one and comment this wait constructor this is what we have used till now now also you got the you will get the four outputs see four statements right what is the conclusion if you use this non blocking event operator it will not go into uh, block the processes even though the event is triggered before or after this is the event